Hi guys and welcome back to the Ayaba YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tell you 20 interesting facts about the Olympics as the Olympics is starting today. The first ever International Summer Olympics started in 1896 on the 6th of April up until the 15th of April, which was only a 9 day event and was held in Athens in Greece. There are 3 different types of Olympic events. International Summer Olympics, which started in 1896, the Winter Olympics, which originally started in 1924 and was held in France, and the Paralympic Games, which was originally started in 1960 and held in Rome. Taking part in a sport can be fun, and it's proved in the Olympics that anyone can do it, as they allow people from all countries, no matter your gender or skin colour. The 1900 Games were played in Paris, and this was the first Olympic Games to allow women to take part. The winners were awarded paintings instead of medals. The Berlin Olympics, which was held in 1936, was the first ever to be broadcasted live on TV. During the 1936 Berlin Games, two Japanese pole vaulters tied for second place. So instead of competing again, they cut the silver and bronze medals in half, fused them together, and both had half of each medal. The oldest ever Olympian to win a gold medal is Oscar Swan who was 60 in the 1908 Olympics. The Swedish man won his gold medal participating in sharp shooting. Conversely, the youngest Olympian to ever be awarded a gold medal was Marjorie Gistring, who was a 13-year-old diver. She won her gold medal in the 1936 Olympic Games. London held the first ever post-war Olympic Games in 1948, which was only three years after World War II had ended. The six colours on the Olympic logo were chosen because every nation's flag contains at least one of the following colours. Blue, yellow, black, green and red, which are the rings against the white background. Mental health can be assisted by playing or watching sports. This has been proven as through the pandemic there was a spike in mental health cases, especially with men, when sports was stopped. The world record for most gold medals won by one person at one single Olympics is held by Michael Phelps, who won eight gold medals in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. The 2012 London Olympic Games was the first Olympics where all countries participating sent female athletes to compete in various competitions. During the 17 days of the 2016 Summer Olympics, 10,500 athletes from 205 different countries represented 42 different sports and participated in 306 competitions whilst in Rio. Michael Phelps is the most decorated Olympian of all time as he has achieved 28 medals collectively, 23 of which being gold, 3 silver and 2 bronze. The official language of the Olympic Games is English and French, complemented by the language of the hosting country. The 2016 Olympics held in Rio was Great Britain's most successful overseas summer games, with the team returning home with 67 medals, where 27 of the medals were gold, 23 of them were silver, and 17 of them were bronze. It is good to take part in sports as it has many benefits, and the main two benefits are it can be mentally and physically beneficial. Currently, the USA have the most medals combined. However, the closest competitors are Great Britain with 867 medals, Soviet Union with 1,010 medals, and the United States of America top with 2,542 medals at time of recording. The first ever Olympics had only 9 sports compared to the 2020 Olympics where there will be 33 sports which will be split into 339 separate events. This year's Olympics will be hosting 5 new sports such as baseball, karate, surfing, skateboarding, and sport climbing. Japan have produced 5,000 Olympic medals from 78,985 tons of recycled electronic devices, which includes digital cameras, laptops, handheld games, and the whopping 6.21 million mobile phones. Futuristic robots will play an important role in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. From welcoming athletes and interacting with visitors 
to providing a remote viewing to people who are not physically present at the Games related venues. The cost of the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo is estimated to be just over $26 billion, which is just over £18.7 billion. Playing sports is a great way for people who are interested in losing weight and for people who just want to keep active. Everybody knows the saying, time goes fast when you're having fun. And this is the case when playing a sport that you are interested in. Just going to a gym to exercise can become tedious and some people can lose motivation and stop attending gym. Whereas if you can find a sport that you enjoy, whether it's a sport that you can play alone or join a team, this will be very beneficial as you can have fun as well as keeping in shape. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and comment down below what your favourite sport in the Olympics is.